Good morning, happy Monday, welcome to your new week. Today is the 28th of January and I have to say I cannot wait for this month to be over because January always feels like it lasts three months, it's so long. Um, I'm really looking forward to February and February is a month that's shorter so it feels like it's like almost like a jump forward to spring. I like that idea because <laughs> I'm getting to the point now where I'm ready for spring, starting the garden again and all that. I've, do I've had enough of the cold and the rain and all that, although we'll still get rain all year round, but you know what I mean. Um, I have brought the boys to school, Alfie's back in school this week, which is great because then I can get a little break and I'm getting some adult social interaction this morning. I have um, the girl who had Aiko uh, when she was a tiny kitten uh, coming over um, and we kept in touch since and we get on and I thought, Do you know, I want to meet more people in the area and all that and her children go to the school Alfie might go to next year so whether he goes there or not I thought it would be nice to get to know her more anyway so she's coming with her youngest little boy who is one and uh, then I'll go and get Alfie and I don't think there's anything else this morning well today but I'll have to check that because I haven't checked my planner yet so but I don't think there is also I'm getting a breakout on my cheek which is not like me at all. I usually break out around my chin or at this part of my cheeks, but lately I've been getting acne on my cheeks, which is very new. It's annoying me. I hate hormones, but we all know that. I think we all hate hormones. Anyway, I will see you later on. So it's now after half light in the evening. I'm in my office. I have received some deliveries today. One of them is a Valentine's Day present for James which I'm gonna wrap. I'm, I'm actually basically gonna have a big wrapping session right now. Going blurry there. Um, the other thing is one of Alfie's birthday presents. Now his birthday is not until March, but he's set on something very specific and they tend to go low in stock easily. So I decided while they were available, I'm just gonna get them so I know for sure I'm gonna stick later. So there are two things. He basically asked now he likes uh vehicles as you probably know and he keeps stealing owen's playmobil collection of vehicles uh, so we thought we'll just start him his own collection because playmobil is good because it's very sturdy and the wheels come off and he loves to get the wheels off try to cut the parcel open at the same time and uh, instead of if they get a lot of abuse instead of breaking they come apart so they you can just put them back together it's just a very good brand i still in france have some of my childhood playmobil that are still in a perfect condition so owen has a massive playmobil collection and alfie is to get a decent vehicle collection so he's asked for a green garbage truck which is very precise and I found on Amazon Italy a green garbage truck. Um, and then another thing he wants is a fire engine with a big ladder. So this is one of them. What I do with stuff like this, because there's usually stickers to stick on and all, I build them in the box and then I wrap it. So then whenever he comes out of the box, it's already built. And sometimes we just need to add a few things. Um, we do have a Playmobil fire engine, which is Owens, which keeps stealing, but it doesn't have the ladder. So we decided this way he would have his own and Owen would have one. And then we got him, so I'm getting him the garbage truck as he calls it. James is getting him the fire engine and Owen picked for him. Um, it's a car that has like everything comes off, like the wheels and the bonnet, everything comes off and there's a, um, electric screwdriver that comes with it so you can build the car and uh, like remove the parts and all that and that he will love so that's what he's getting for his birthday um so yes so i'm just gonna god trying to get that out and for james i will show you closer to the time because i don't want to spoil the surprise it's something that we both will enjoy i think um it's I don't want to say just I don't know if she watches the vlog or not at the moment but I I don't want to I, I'll show you closer to so I sat down with my cup of tea <laughs> my hello fresh delivery came so this week we have teriyaki grilled pork 
and pork steak with mash and peppercorn sauce and there's broccoli they don't always add everything but you can see on this and then james is really looking forward to this one spanish style pilaf with chorizo green beans and peppers so i'm gonna get everything out and put all my bags in the fridge hello it's wednesday it is quarter to one Afia and i are playing games so we just played some a bingo game and he's now playing with these um both the boys got some of these for christmas in france it's like they are shapes but they are magnetic so you can build different things and um do you, can you find what you want to build that way a big one a big one but what do you want a big a big car a robot a big a big truck yeah okay and i've been living with a blanket on me uh it snowed last night and there was a lot of ice this morning there's a lot of snow forecasted over the next few days which i'm really excited about i am hoping for a snow day on oh, thursday and friday now it's unlikely for thursday but it's meant to snow it's a lot on thursday during the day so for friday it's looking more likely i would love um to be snowed in on Friday. I would really like that and that there would be no work for James, no school for the boys. I would really like that, but we'll see. Um, I'm not looking forward to this afternoon to go to dance class because it is freezing outside and Alfie and I are going to be waiting in the car. So I'm going to bring hot water bottles and blankets with us. He is a very happy little boy today. Are you happy today? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to sing your song? No. Are you making a big truck? No. No? Do you need help? No. no. We need big truck. Do you want mommy to make the big truck or Alfie do the big truck? Then do the big truck. Okay, so I'm not going to go and build a big truck with Alfie. I'm officially on postman's talking mode and the post could come That's anytime. And I feel nervous. And once the post has come, if the statement is not there, I will probably relax then until tomorrow when it gets close to the post time and all that. At least it doesn't make me stressed out um, the whole, you know, the whole time until I have it. Obviously, I would like to have it sooner rather than later, so I can just move on with this. And we, our neighbor from across the road has a tree dog, and every time the postman comes, but he's at the end of the estate, but I can't see them yet. Yeah. I'm saying them because it's usually. <gasps> The post just came. Oh, I think can you go and get the post? Yes. Okay, we're gonna have a live thing. Oh god, I'm scared. I was about to say, every time the postman comes and he's getting near, the dogs are barking. Even before I can see the postman and I can hear the dogs, so that may be a sign. It was a sign. The post has just been delivered. My little helper is gonna get it. I'm so scared. I'm, I'm hoping it's there, but if it's not, at least I will just. Is there any post, Alfie? Can you bring it to mommy? Yep, so now what we're looking is a letter with the stamp EA for Education Authority yep. on it. Yep, oh. bring, bring it yep. to mommy. Look. Look, so it doesn't look like... Another one! Another post? <gasps> okay, one. more post. Go and get it. It's so, it doesn't look like there's any letters from that. Up. Unless there's more now. This is like an emotional roller coaster. Daddy, Look, okay, no, it's not there. It's not Daddy. there, but I got something fun. Let me see. So I got something. This is my cutting mats. I need the new ones. I got a Cat Kitston voucher. And I got another. I'm gonna hide my address. My order from a Happy Cutie Studio, which I really like. Um, and she has a lot of new characters that have ginger hair, which is really exciting for me as a lot of people in my house have uh, ginger hair all the people in my house today i'm experimenting something to see what works better this morning uh, i found myself absolutely exhausted after getting up it's just been lack of sleep over the last few weeks has really been accumulating alfie had because he had that cold was sleeping really bad he did sleep much better last night so i think He's now over, you know, the worst of it, he's breathing much better. During the day, he's been fine for, for a few days, but it's just that night, I think everything just settles on his chest and just gets coughing and all again. The night before, that was awful. I had about two hours sleep and I was, I was feeling a bit sorry for myself. Uh, but uh, last night was good, so um, that's, that's 
we're getting there but anyway i was still tired this morning <clears throat> and i had the choice between making the tonight's dinner and getting stuff around the house done and all rest and i felt like i need to rest i just need to rest i need a break so i just didn't do anything the time they were in school i just sat down i watched some tv shows i yeah. just did nothing like really just sat there played a few games on my phone and watched some netflix and i don't really usually do that in the mornings because i have stuff to do but i just feel really needed a rest and i thought oh and asked, then i started to panic oh no like the afternoon on wednesday is always busier because owen has dance class right in the middle so we come back from school at two then at three we have to leave again and Owen never has enough time to finish his homework because he's just really slow with homework. He can't yeah. stay focused on a task. He, like if he has to write sentences with a word, like usually what happens is that he has 10 words, 10 spelling words that day that he needs to learn. And then with each um, word, he has to also write a sentence. Now, it, it, takes, it takes him a long time to do because what he's imagining the sentence instead of imagining a very simple sentence he just goes into his imagination and makes you an entire scenario for a movie probably a movie trilogy sometimes for each word so it takes a lot of time <laughs> so, so i keep having to try and keep him focused but the bottom line is he's never finished his homework by three so usually we are like kind of rushing around to get to dance class then when we get there for an hour i'm in the car with alfie then we drive back by the time we come back it's five and then usually the boys eat their dinner around six ish um and then i james and i i'd have six when james comes home and it's a bit short to prepare all the dinners quickly like this and usually i'm wrecked by that time because i have done so much to in the morning to prepare for then that i make sure that when we come home the dinner is already ready i just either have to reheat it or just put the oven on for them and it's easier today i've tried to reverse this i thought i'm just going to rest all morning when I well until I pick up Alfie up and then make the food when we come back and hope for the best and I thought if I try this way it might work better because Wednesdays are stressing me out because I'm always like really I'm just rushing around constantly and it's just yeah it's just stressful so I'm thinking I'm going to try and reverse the thing and have what I want to do is in the week to have one morning in the week where it's just a morning for myself where I don't do any work and I don't do any housework where I can just relax and just do whatever I want I feel like doing that day without even planning in advance what I'm going to do and I'm thinking it's I'm actually since Wednesday is a busy afternoon it might be good to do it that day so I'm going to give that a go and see how it goes tonight um I have my hello fresh meals to make so i'll make one of those and yes so now i'm gonna hope my belly cooperates sorry i'm just flipping toys around um i'm gonna hope my belly cooperates because um it's not been great today so far and i have to sit in a freezing car this afternoon so yeah <laughs> really really hoping it scans down otherwise i might have to use medication to calm him down so we have now built this and we will move this so when you say what is this alfie oh it's tra a train yeah and what's this a train station. train station what's that a train. Uh, that's a christmas tree the christmas tree and what's this christmas tree what's christmas tree what about this a christmas tree christmas tree and this one a christmas tree most christmas tree and this one that a fence this is my my art for the day <laughs> do you like these toys do you like it uh -oh. watch that it doesn't fall it's going to be broken otherwise oh no oh no what happened <gasps> what happened oh this door did you fix it this door teaches i don't have more pieces of it we have a few pieces left but can't do much this with them the so pieces are shapes Yes. Do you want to make something with the shapes that are left? Yes. I'll feed you something. Daddy. Mommy. Me. What? What, are we, what can we make? What can we make with this? It's a house. A house again. Well, I can make. So I'm going to try and work something out. After that. We're making a house with this. After that. What is this? After that. A, an hexa a hexagon. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, it's a kind of a pentagon. Really. Well, this one is a hexagon. This one is a pentagon. <laughs> That. Did you learn this in school? That was the hexagon? The yeah, train the door. The red. Right, I'm gonna try and make something with this. Good morning, it's Thursday and I'm glad it's Thursday because it's getting towards the end of the week. Uh, we were supposed to have a lot of snow today and I was hoping for a snow day tomorrow. It's not happening. We have a lot of ice instead. The whatever thing on the weather I was bringing the snow has moved more south and it's impacting more the Republic of Ireland than Northern Ireland and England and Wales so we have a lot of ice everything is frosted and it's very pretty but I'm not looking forward to walking on it to go to school soon and my um, rhododendrons is looking the leaves are all droopy and not very happy but it, it was in the snow and ice last year and it recovered fine so let's hope it does again. But yeah, it's looking very icy and it's going to be fun to walk down. I am hoping that today is the day I get this statement. This video is all going to be about me waiting for this post to come. But this is the reality of things at the moment. Um, this is the main part of my day this week. So yeah, I'm going to finish to make the lunch boxes, get them ready for school and we're going to head down to school and hope we don't fall. Well, it looks like I was mistaken and so was the weather forecast and it looks like we're going to school in the ice and the snow. <laughs> but this is so pretty. But they won't like the school will be open right now. Now, if it could last for a while, so then, although the clouds are moving fast, so I don't know. But it's falling, you know, it's falling really well right now. And it seems to be staying on the ground because the ground is frozen. So hopefully, it will soon all add up. I have been dreaming that today the snow would accumulate all day, and I mean, it doesn't take much snow in this country to get a snow day, which is a bit ridiculous. But the country is really not equipped for snow, even though we get snow every year. Every time, everything just comes to a standstill. So. I would love a day off tomorrow with no school and no work for James. What would you think? Would you like a day off school tomorrow? Yeah. Would be good, wouldn't it? Right. We're going to pray the gods of snow that they will snow all day. <laughs> Come on. Keep it up. No, don't slow down, snow. Just keep going. Right. We need to get equipped to, to do the school run. Okay? We're going to need some hoods and some gloves. And some hats and things. Maybe and some scarves. Yes, actually, that's a good idea. Today. Oh no, it's kind of starting to to go very thin now. Keep going. Come on, it's still snowing, like, but it's you know. It's like changing the formation. It's like a tiny, like a like very small snowflakes, and less of them at the same time. Come on. Do you know, I just thought, I hope it's not a small isolated shower. Keep it up, Snow. We need a day off tomorrow. It's that time of the day where we get close to the post coming. I think it's coming now. I don't know. I can hear the dog or the neighbor barking. Ashby, can you check if there's any post? Yeah. Go and check if there's post. I'm going to check it. Ashby, can't do it? Right, I'm going to go and see. I don't think, I thought I heard a noise, but I might have been my imagination because I really want it to be a noise. But I'm going to check if there is. Oh, if I can see the post oh one through the window. Yes, I can see the noise, oh, that's not happening. I can see the postman at the end of my street and I'm terrified. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Okay, it may sound ridiculous, but it's just, I've been fighting to get this paper so much. And I really, really hope it's in there. And I really, really, really hope that they've made a decent decision on it. God, this is so stressful. See, when I finish this process, I'll be glad my nerves will be a lot more <laughs> at rest. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. It's coming. I'm terrified. Why am I terrified of the postman? But I'm I think I'm terrified that there's nothing. Oh, I'm terrified that there is something and it's not good. Which is the problem. 
something is coming to my door soon. I'm gonna film this door. So if this is the letter, I will film it coming out through my letter box. <laughs> I'm sure someday I'll be glad I have this. Alfie's gonna catch it for me. And there he, imagine he just walks on and there's no post at all. I will be very annoyed. Please, bring me some post. He knocked on the door because I received a parcel. I have a present for the last of the presents for yeah. Therese's daughter missing, and then I've received two envelopes which yeah. are tickets for the Opera House. Yeah. That's for Lucy. Lucy. Lucy's in her house. <sighs> it's still happy post, but I'm. <laughs> Right, if it doesn't come tomorrow, I am phoning them again because they promised me to be posted early in the week last Friday and I am not having this kind of thing dragging any more than it has already next because I, I'm worried that they have told me that just to shut me up basically. This is why I'm getting anxious about it. But anyway, that's not it. But I have tickets to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show and the Sound of Music going to see Rocky Horror with James and Sound of Music with Owen. I think it's like a week apart. So that will be fun. That's in March. Hello. So I decided to phone Education Authority again about not having received it because I figured it's Thursday and if for any reason it wasn't posted yet and it was a mistake and it should have been posted then they would have tomorrow to post it and then it could come Monday or something. And I spoke to the guy that is, is like the contact person I have in there. Um, I, I don't even know where to start. I am... Um, <laughs> so on Friday when I phoned his boss, um, which we will call Mary. So Mary, Mary is driving me nuts at the moment because Mary is not doing her job and she's blocking the whole process. So Mary, um, on Friday when I was on the phone, told... John, we're gonna call John the guy I speak to on the phone. I don't want to give names because I don't want to anyway So John was on the phone to me and John has been absolutely amazing I mean if there's one person who has really helped and really tried to figure out what was going wrong and try to fix it It's John. John is being good. John is regularly uh, Telling me to phone back to get updates and all that. John has been dealing with this brilliantly but his boss, Mary, is the person who currently has the proposed statement and is to sign it off. On Friday, when I phoned, John was on the phone to me and he called Mary in and said, Mary, um, do you think you're going to be able to sign this off today? Because it's finally ready. We figured out what was wrong. Everything has been fixed. It's ready to go. And she said to John, while I was on the phone, so I heard the conversation. Um, yes, John, I will sign it, sign it off by the end of the day so it can be posted early next week. So John said to me, sure, it's, um, as you may have heard, uh, she will sign it off today and I'll make sure it goes in the post. I can't promise it will be Monday because if there's already, we can only send so much post, so it might be Tuesday, but definitely by Tuesday it will be sent then. So it was starting to look a bit weird when I didn't have anything today because usually they send everything first class. So I phoned John again and he said to me that he went home on Friday thinking that by when he came back on Monday he would have the file on his desk ready to be posted and it wasn't there. And Mary has been in and out of the office constantly all week so he's, finding a, he's having a hard time managing to catch her at a time where she can talk about it. And basically Mary has, still hasn't done it. So the thing is not leaving, it's not signed off, it's... Um, and Mary is out of the office all day today, so John can't speak to her. So he said to me, we're going to do something, she's meant to be in the office on Monday. So please phone back then, because if she hasn't done it, I can go into her office says, saying, Mrs. Donnelly has phoned again, can you please uh, make sure it goes, because they are really... Um, waiting for this for a long time now uh, he did say to me they just have so many things he doesn't want to give me a, a guideline of uh, when to expect it anymore because he's tried everything he could and clearly he's out of his control at the moment and he's just worried that if he gives me this i'll just be disappointed over and over again so he said to me he's doing everything he can phone back on monday and if it doesn't work i'll tell you when to phone back again and all that so we have a little plan in place with john 
uh, bearing in mind that I have a direct phone number for Mary, but Mary refuses to pick up her phone. She gets the lower staff members to pick it up for her, saying that she's too busy to take up the call, so you have no way to contact Mary. She also refuses to do uh, callbacks unless it's for an emergency or there's a big issue with the file, uh, which is not the case anymore for me. It's just a matter of the fact that they, they, she just won't sign it, so it can't leave. Um, I also tried to find out what was on it, you know, what, what they were going to offer. Uh, John can probably go and get the file, but as uh, it hasn't been signed off by a senior member of staff, he is not allowed to disclose any information from it. He's also not allowed to do it on the phone because it's confidential information. Blah, 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 blah. Once we get this, uh, it's probably going to be another little bit of a fight because it has actually to go in front of a panel again and there's only one panel a month. So once we return everything, it will go to the panel of the next month. But if there are already in too many files for that month, it has to go in two months. So we're just not near the end at all. We are looking at a final statement now in April, May. Uh, we started this at the beginning of April last year and it's a process that's supposed to be done within 26 weeks so I'm, I'm feeling very annoyed at the moment um, it's just it's just getting ridiculous it's like it is ridiculous I know that they are very busy and but there's been many times now where I feel like there are mistakes that are being made that are like a spanner in the works and they just blocking everybody else from doing their job and it's getting so annoying so it would be great i mean i'm sure it would be brilliant that they provide help for maybe the end of june when he finishes school at the end of june it would be amazing and all that with me being super organized and started super early to make sure we were told he was going to have everything done max, max, max by Halloween, but hopefully by September. We are now uh, almost in February. So this is why I am feeling like this. Um, to you know, if they had told me at the start, um, the process is going to take over a year, then fine. But this is not, you know, legally, this is not what's meant to happen. And uh, the reason why it's been uh, slowed down a lot is by people not doing their work when they should. And this is why I'm getting annoyed, really annoyed. I can be very patient with things like this, but this is just getting very frustrating now because, I mean, it's it's just not fair. It's not fair that um, it's uh, it should be allowed to go to school until two and it can't because of this. And yes, so... It means it also delays everything for next school year. I'm, I'm love right now. I'm I'm just raging inside. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Good morning. It's Friday. I am so happy. It's Friday. This week has been very long. There has been so much going on. Every nice thing that was waiting for this week is not happening this week. And every bad thing that I was dreading this week has happened this week. So I'm not going to go too much into detail. I'm just, you know, some of it. The rest is not important. Most of it is just sorted or getting sorted. And my car is just away for uh, service. Um, we have a mechanic that I found when I was pregnant with Alfie. Uh, I was very pregnant when my MOT was due and James couldn't drive, James was in the hospital having chemo and I needed my car serviced and I found a mobile mechanic online who came to your house with his van and did the service and everything there. Since then he's been, he's had another job but he takes some jobs on the side like this one and it's very nice because he just comes to the house, he parks his car in my driveway, drives off to his uh, garage while he's, he's in, at his own, at home, you know, he doesn't have his van anymore. So he brings my car to his home to get it all serviced and brings it back and then drives his car back. It means that it makes the cost of it a bit cheaper because he doesn't have to pay for premises and it's just very nice to not have to drive back and forth and he's very nice and I'm glad because um, the work we do is helping him at the moment to save for a deposit um, uh, for a new house and it's nice, he's a, a young mechanic and I like the fact that he helps me by servicing my car and me paying him for that is helping me to get his new house in the future. This is great. 
so anyway i am going to uh wrap some presents it is already probably 11 i've done a lot today so far i was on the phone to my mom to update her on everything for school and everything for alfie had to phone the tax credit to people to update some details and i received not today i received them a while ago but i haven't wrapped them yet they went in boxes um this is alfie's birthday present he wanted a green garbage truck and i found a green garbage truck so i just need to wrap it and then i probably told you already that i got in the post yesterday the last uh pop vinyl figure for um Teresa's eldest daughter's birthday i've wrapped the rest but i need to wrap this one so i'm gonna do some wrapping so then i can put everything away before he's back then i'm going to go and get alfie in school and in the afternoon after we pick owen up we are going to Teresa's house so uh, we can have some sort of a play date the kids haven't uh, seen each other for a while uh, because it was just very busy and um we found finally a day they all have scouts tonight we're all the big ones so owen and her two elders girls so we'll be getting ready for scouts while we're there and then go straight to scouts after but at least they can play for a while before that and there's no homework today because it's friday the snow day i was hoping for definitely did not happen we had ice again this morning but we didn't have any snow since yesterday so everything that was there yesterday is gone now um in a way i'm ready for spring but i haven't had a proper snow day well we had snow but i haven't had a day where we're snowed in and the school is closed because of it this year so far usually when we have some it's usually more february or march um but yeah i just really want a snow day before it's spring just just tick that kind of bucket list just for the year though um yeah so the one i've got today is this one i got her this one i got her um newt Chamander, uh, I'm sure show you because I have it there, it's wrapped, but I have what I have the same. Um, so I got her this one and this one, and I got her. Um, oh my god, my brain is failing me. What do you call the bad, the bad one in in Harry Potter with the curly black hair and <sighs> god, <laughs> seriously? Oh my god, my brain. I can't, I can't, it doesn't, it's not coming. Bellatrix, Lestrange, this woman, this one. Oh my god, why did that go away from my brain for there? Uh, so yeah, these are two are wrapped. So that was the third one I was waiting on. Got it, I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap Alfie's presents. We officially have all of, Alf uh, all of Alfie's presents. His birthday is not before the 25th of March, but at least now I know that that's all sorted. I can put them to the side and I can just get on with my life and once we get closer to his birthday they will be ready there echo is trying to get all the boxes and all from me um so yeah i cannot tell you how glad i am it's friday i need it to be friday i feel this week has lasted at least 32 days at least and that's there's no exaggeration there this is how it felt it's been the longest week i'm not gonna say of the year because i mean the year is only just started but Ever. it's been yeah yeah it's just not been good but it's February so it's a new month and all is good it's a new month it's a new start Fe January was a tricky month but we got a lot of good resolutions on some certain stuff some lack of resolutions on others but overall there's been some good stuff so I'm gonna focus on the good stuff and I'm gonna stop ranting it's the weekend tonight the boys are going to their grandparents tonight, not tonight, tomorrow. And we have a nice weekend planned with some relaxation and some things we like to do. So it's good. It's all good. I'm going to wrap some presents and stop, stop talking. It's 11 o'clock and I'm just going to end this vlog here. Uh, we had a good afternoon and just came home, had some food, watched some TV shows and I was falling asleep on the couch as we were watching one of the episodes so we decided instead of watching one more i just go to bed tomorrow um the boys are going to james's parents for the weekend so we have a little break and usually at the weekend i can go to bed later but you know what i'm exhausted <laughs> so i'm gonna get an early night 
and um, I haven't finished that book I was, I was thinking I might have finished by the weekend but I think it'll definitely be finished by the end of the weekend because I'm now really in the whole everything is happening and I need to finish it so that'll be another book completed um, and then I'll have three more to finish before I can read new ones tomorrow I'm doing something there are cobwebs, I don't know if you can see it's hard to see on the camera there are cobwebs like appearing all the time here at the moment I don't know if it's the weather or something but they are driving me insane so tomorrow I'll get my hoover and I'm going to go around every single room in the house and I'm going to get the cobwebs off because it really annoys me anyway, I thought by the end of this vlog I would have a statement in my hand to show you <laughs> and I don't because this woman Mary I think I had called her didn't sign it so hopefully next week is different but for now it's bedtime